I'm back and I'm on a brand new setup. I have a desk now. I can set my laptop here. I have a recording space. The lighting's not too bad. Um, I have a little lamp set up. So um, I'm going to do a haul for you guys today and I titled it Pretty Things. I'm going to have to really hurry today because I have a ton of stuff to show you. I haven't done one of these in so long. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the shoes. Um, some of these things I purchased over the last three months um, since moving from Nashville down to Florida. Um, and some of these things, my mom and I share the same bad habit of shopping. And um, I have a funky hair, but we're both very addicted to shopping. And it really works out because we're kind of around the same size. We're both really petite. And um, so, anyways, I'll let you know what she gave me and which ones I bought. So, I'm going to start with a pair of wedges that my mommy gave me. And I didn't know if I would like them because when I first saw them, I was like, oh, they kind of look cheesy. But then when I put them on, they're the most comfortable shoes and they are really, really cute. So, this is them. It's not too extremely high, but I love the brown and gold detail. And on the sides here, you can see it's braided and it goes around the ankle. So, I absolutely love these with jeans or shorts or they're just great but they're exhilaration the brand exhilaration so I'm pretty sure they're from Target so those are really cute the next pair okay the next three pair I bought the first ones are I bought these for a, my best friend's wedding and um, they're really painful but they're really cute so I wear them for short periods of time but they're these white high heels summer shoes but they're the cupid brand um and they do have some cushion in them they're not they're not terrible but they're from charlotte Bruce. the next pair that i got oh, i'm obsessed with these shoes i saw um lisa i think her, her name is lisa 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 d1 something like that anyways i saw on her channel where she went to tj maxx and got the knockoff of the jennifer aniston shoes um she wore the Stuart Weitzman, and she had a bad experience with one pair. She bought Stuart Weitzman's, and they were like $400, and I'm sorry, I don't have the money to spend $400 on a shoe, but I love Lisa for being able to do that. Well, anyways, long story short, she took them back, and she got a knockoff brand one. I was actually looking online because I thought that maybe I could find them for cheaper, and uh, I did. I found them at Tilly's. It's T-I-L-L-Y, apostrophe-S.com. Oh. I love them. And you can find a lot of these knockoffs, but not all of them are as good because the rope part will actually be a different color. And I love this army green. Um, and then it's got the gold detailing here. And I have worn the absolute crap out of these. This is a little thicker than most of them, but I like a high heel because I'm only 5'1". I need something to make me feel tall. The next pair that I got my gosh, I'm already at three minutes. I'm just on the shoes. The next pair that I got um, are the Michelle D brand, and I got these from Dillard's. My husband and I were back in his hometown in Illinois, and basically the only stores that they have there are Dillard's, Sears, and Target. <laughs> like, I kid you not. But um, the Dillard's is pretty good, and they were having a sale. So I spotted these little babies, and how pretty are those? And I actually got these to go with a specific dress that I'm going to show you today. But it's just like, it's not quite a kitten heel. It's it's a very small heel though. And oh, I just thought they were just so sweet. So I got them. They were on sale for like really cheap. Um, the knockoff Stuart Watson's that I got, I don't know if I told you guys, these were $26. Um, the ones from Charlotte Roos, they're actually having a sale right now. It's on their website last night. And it's buy one, get one 15% off, or get one 50% off. Um, so you guys should go and check out that. And then the Michelle D, I think they were 75% off, so they were like $30. So um, I am actually thinking they have to break this up into two parts. So I'm going to show you guys the jewelry that I got kind of talk to you about that and then I'll do the plugs. So the first thing that I got, and I really don't have a whole lot of jewelry because I have a ton of jewelry from when I worked at, um, why is this thing shaking? Isn't that crazy? I'm not even touching it. I don't know. I live, on a, I live in a house that's built up off the ground. It's built up on stilts because we actually live on an island. We live like on 
on the beach, and so we have to live. And I guess just from me talking, I'm it's shaking the computer. <laughs> but my washing machine's going, my dishwasher's going, so maybe the vibration from those things are moving the computer. I'm not sure, but I apologize, guys. Anyways, so this is a piece that I got, and it's the cutest story that goes with it. This is a jade bangle. And you'll actually see a lot of um, Oriental people wearing them. And I asked my husband and I every Wednesday night go for a date night at a Chinese restaurant. And um, the girl always has the prettiest pieces of jade jewelry. She had this long silver pendant, um, pendant with, oh, it's just gorgeous. And then she's got rings and bracelets. And so I asked her, like, what? Well, why do you guys wear a lot of jade? And she said that it's because it wards off evil spirits and it promotes positive energy. Well, green is my favorite color. And um, so when I saw this bracelet, they had a lot of them. And, um, but this one was just so unique because it almost looks like waves. If you, if you can see, oh, it's upside down. Um, but do you see how that looks like waves almost? And since we live at the beach, I just thought that was beautiful. And um, we were in that mall with some off-name store. And so I picked it out and my husband went back. He and um, his grandfather went for a motorcycle ride later on that night. And he came home and surprised me with this the next day. He had smuggled it in the house with a gift box and everything. He was like, surprise! So I just, I love this piece, it, it's, it's very sentimental, it holds a lot of sentimental value, but I also love the jade because every time I wear it I can just feel the positive energy being drawn towards me and it's worked for them for thousands and thousands of years so it worked for me. The next pieces that I got are from Dillard's and my mommy and I were um, over there shopping and I had a doctor's appointment and so we just decided to go out and um, found their stuff. This was 65% off, and I just think it's beautiful, so I'll go ahead and show you guys. It's this, it's not a polish, it's like a brushed metal, like gold, and then this is the pendant. The color is not showing up true on the camera. The top stone, just imagine it being a little bit darker than what you're seeing. Um, absolutely love that and those colors were everywhere and um, so I thought for 65% off I'll just get it and so I got these earrings to go with it they had a ton of earrings that match like in a set and I wish you could see it's like a rosy peach color but these I have worn to death I actually I love these I have to show you guys um, I had a navy and oatmeal colored pullover like a cardigan a short cardigan on last night and I wore pearl, a short string of pearls and I actually wore these with it and when they're on they almost look more flesh colored but they still kind of hold that peachy rosy color oh, it's just I, I love these ends. it's gorgeous so if you guys get a chance definitely go check out Dillard's I hope they're still having their 65 and I think all Dillard's are different I'm, I'm not sure if one is having a sale if the rest of them will have a sale I'm not really sure but um, if you see it, even those stones like the peachy pinky rosy color get them because I think that's going to be really big um, so anyways that's it for the jewelry and shoes and um, check out the second part of this and you'll see all the clothes